Uh, it was played by uh, two good defensive teams. Uh, obviously, uh, the Mavericks are a good defensive team, and, and I think uh, we're heading that direction in terms of being a good defensive team. Um, you know, to and they missed some shots. They had some open looks, but uh, you know, when you look at a Dallas team that, that sh you know shoots 35 percent and scores 70 points, uh, you, you have to be doing a little something right defensively. And, and I, you know, they're great shooters. I know they probably missed some, but I applaud my guys for uh, trying to defend the right way. And you know, offensively, obviously, uh, it was ugly. Um, you know, at times, but I, 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 there are other times where I thought uh, our ball movement and our body movement and the way we shared the basketball uh, was, was was fun to watch. Um, you know, I thought uh, Josh McRoberts' activity on both ends of the floor, his energy that he brought to the table, uh, was definitely a positive. Uh, excuse me. Obviously, Andrews double double with the 17 and and, and 15 was. Was was terrific, and you know, and and then uh, Kobe at the end of the game, uh, he obviously got double teamed, and uh, he made the right pass to Fish, and Fish stepped in and, and was aggressive with it, and knocked down a shot, and uh, that's what we need. We need that type of aggressiveness from uh, all of our guys, especially when uh, Kobe gets doubled in that situation or any other situation. Uh, and and then you know the last thing is. Uh, you know, we, we've been turnover prone, and it's good to see that uh, we had 11 turnovers uh, to their 15, and, and we also were even in the points off turnover game. I thought that was big when you get a low scoring, kind of grinded out ugly game. Was, was there anything particular about the shots not falling tonight in terms of something Dallas was doing, or just they weren't? Yeah, falling? no, Dallas is a good de defensive team, and, you know, we shoot 38 2, they shoot 35. So it's two good defensive teams that. Uh, we're trying to execute on that end of the floor, and you know we're, you know, it's, I mean, if, if we got beat, I'd say it's no excuse. I'm still saying it's no excuse, but you know we, we're still trying to find our way offensively. And and you know when you watch us play, you can see some possessions are great spacing, great ball movement, great body movement, so on and so forth. And then uh, you can see stretches where it's like it's really discombobulated, and the ball kind of comes to a stop, and we're taking tough shots and. You know, that happens sometimes with our first unit, that happens sometimes with our second unit. So we, we have to keep trying to find uh, a rhythm and or a flow uh, with both groups and, and to see uh, if we can keep, keep making that transition smoother. Is this but, like the, you know, you call Mike Brown win in that you had seven points scored in a quarter against the world champ, reigning world champs and yet you led a victory? Uh, well, yeah, I like the fact that uh, if we don't score, we can still win games. Because I think eventually we're going to score, and we're going to score at an efficient clip. So for me, that's exciting, and hopefully our guys understand that, hey, we can win ugly games, we can win pretty games, we can win high-tempo games. So, hey, however you want to bring it, we can get down that way. And t t today, you know, scoring the seven points in the third quarter uh, obviously was a shocker to me and probably to everybody else to a certain degree. Uh, but having said that, uh, we defended and we found a way to hang in there and hang in there and we knocked some shots down in the fourth quarter, scored 27 in the fourth quarter, excuse me, we knocked some shots down in the fourth quarter, scoring 27 and ended up winning the game. So uh, uh, an effort like that hopefully will resonate within our group the right way, which is it doesn't matter what's in front of us, uh, we can still get a win if we believe in getting stops first because we, we got a guy like Kobe at the end of the, the day to make plays. How was that final play drawn up? Uh, well, we just wanted to zip Kobe to the top of the floor, spread the floor. Uh, you know, we feel Powell's a, a great shooter, so we're going to spread him. We feel Cat's a great shooter and Fish is a great shooter. And put Bynum at the rim just in case he missed it and, you, you know, he might be able to get a tip in. And, and so we zipped him up to ice him at the top of the floor and say, hey, uh, Kobe, you, you know, you're our best player. Go, go win the game for us. And they ran a double team at him right away. And, he makes a pass to a wide open Derek Fisher, who didn't hesitate, and he was aggressive, knocking down shots all night, and, and he buries a three, you know. And uh, I, I thought a few plays before that, Kobe made a great pass to Andrew Bynum. They, they, Dallas went small in terms of their bigs, having Lamar and Nowitzki, and Drew rim ran, and, and, and Kobe dropped the ball to him in the post, and Drew just turned and shot over him. So, uh, um, you know, the, the execution, down the stretch late in the game, especially about Kobe making sure that he just dis distributed the ball to the right people at the right time, I thought that was key as well as our stops. Was Fisher trapped it? 
in the middle of that, in the middle of the fourth Same quarter. In the middle of the fourth quarter, Fisher had that run. It was during the, the 6-0 streak. There were a couple of traps where he had steals. And then he'd been struggling shooting before that three-point shot. What is it about him that just every once in a while he crops up and has a, a big impact like that? Well, you know, he's a professional, obviously. And, you know, he always keeps himself ready. And, you know, it was a little tough for him uh, this summer because of all the stuff that he was doing with the labor stuff. But, uh, you know, he's slowly getting back in shape and uh, starting to understand what, what we want on both ends of the floor. And, and uh, his, his hard work as of late has really paid off today.